next we're going to start our next topic engineering workbench so the topics that we're going, we're going to cover today they are what are the benefits of engineering workbench browser function navigation work area and its customizing and objects in the work area so let us start this topic with the business example in what scenario we're going to use this one you would like to find the optimum maintenance environment for permanent changes to allow multiple users to make changes simultaneously what that means is what we want from the business this, uh, the business requirement is that more than one person should be able to change uh, different components of a bomb or routing so i'll explain that in more details in the class today and you would like to have an integrated process for processing of the operations and items in the routing so let us start with engineering workbench so first of all we'll see what are the benefits of using engineering workbench so the first uh, benefit is that to support the complex planning process again here i'm just talking about the theory but once we complete this topic and you come back to this screen again uh, to understand the theory that will be a better uh, understanding so um, so let's see first the theoretical side then we'll start the practical so to support complex planning process to carry out parallel processing precise selection of objects from routing and bombs for the integrated process processing of operations and items for the precise setting of locks to show the development of the change status now in in this today's topic what i'm talking in this screen will discuss everything and then you will know what i mean so first of all uh, this engineering work bench is all about processing different routings and different bombs at the same time so far we have seen how we can uh, change a bomb how we can maintain a routing using the relevant transaction but we have seen that we can only process one material at a time that means if i go to cs02 to change a bomb if i go to ca02 to change the routing one material can be processed at one time but using this uh, engineering workbench processing we can maintain more than one uh, bombs and routing at the same time and as i just said that uh, you this uh, engineering workbench also provides the simultaneous processing of the bombs and routing so as i said not only bombs and routing you can also maintain the items of the bombs and routing even within the routing you have the prts assigned so production resource and tools that we can also maintain so uh, at the bottom you can see the menu path to open the transaction if you go to the on the main home screen of sap go to logistics production master data engineering workbench or directly you can type the uh, transaction cewb so here you can uh, follow this menu path uh, logistics production master data and um, engineering workbench not this one this one c engineering workbench cewb double click on it it will open this screen for you so here we need to select the work area what work area means you need to select what type of change is you looking for you want to change a bomb you want to change a routing like that so if i open the search box here these are the options we have these are the work area so you can see the second one is the bomb header area and the the third one is routing header area so if i select the routing one p underscore a l l e s this one 
and if I say execute so here I can run this transaction for one material I can enter one material or I can enter only type of plant that means I can run this uh, transaction for all the materials within a plant so there are different filters you can use or you can click on this additional selections criteria to see more filters so here you can see different filters so the first tab you can see header filter header for the transaction then operation you can also filter for the operation at the operation level like the operation of a bomb even sub operation bomb header like that so you have different filters are there so let me go back to the header and here you can select see this little uh, arrow button if I click on it you have still more uh, filters for example if I open this one so these are the more filters you can run by for example I can say I want to change all the materials created by me or created on a specific date for example created on double click on it it will open a screen here for you you can click double click on created by so I can enter created by for example if I want to see what are the materials created by me so I can type my user ID my SAP user ID here and I can click on the save button and then I can execute here it now is showing you the uh, under the arrow it will show you the green mark that means something is there that was green means if there is nothing in the green area it will look like this at the bottom so I got the filter as created by myself and if I execute it on the top it will bring all the materials created by me all the routings uh, created by me so we are filtering for a routing work area so here are the, all the routings created by me okay so you can see that's the routing number or the group number if I scroll down you can see I create all these routing also it, it is also showing you the um, instruction like the quality instruction production instruction that we created earlier so that's basically you can also filter this this is s task list type s so you can filter in the previous screen you can filter for only n which is the routing so s stand for reference operation set that we learned in the previous class so these are the, all the routings you can see here that created by myself and here just showing you this screen showing you the the group rd of the routing the group counter the description of the routing and the lot sizes and valid from and all that and if you want to see that uh, for which material this routing was created so every material every routing is created for a material obviously so you can go to the task list select the material task list assignment and here now it will show you along with the group ID it will show the material ID as well material ID material description plant and all that so here you can see all the data created by me <coughs> okay so let me show you how you can make any changes for example in the here I can select an item for example here just showing the header you, if you want to change something in the header select that line select that line click um, not this one let me go back one step okay select a line here and click on the change button see the change button on the top if I click on the change button it is asking me if, if there is a chain number I will just say ok now here I can make any changes here so now it's, it doesn't allow me the change at the bottom you can see this because the change I must have done before using a chain number so I still need to use the chain number to make any changes but still um, let me find a different material and then we can try this uh, try this now this is same um, let me try this it's also same yeah but it yeah this is fine this is better so here you can see it now allow me to change the description of the routing so here I can maintain the change the description I can say demo 2 so I can add say ABC whatever description you want to change here you can also change the lot size here you can see okay and you can notice that when